Hello and welcome to the Renegade Gamers channel. I am the Renegade Gamer. We're playing Batman, a Telltale series. Bruce and Batman must forge new alliances and fight old rivals to protect the innocent and keep Gotham from descending into chaos. We're starting episode four, and I hope you all enjoy as we play this game blind. So here we go! After it loads. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I hope y'all doing alright today. I'm in Nebraska. Um, I've been out running a snowstorm all day long. Uh, right now I'm about 10 hours ahead of it. Previously on Batman. The Telltale series. Why did you do it? Harvey needed you. Why so... <sighs> I haven't actually seen it yet. They've had me wrapped up this whole time. <laughs> Numbed beyond belief. Maybe it's not that bad. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. Oswald Cobblepot. You're the only ally I have in this building. It's important. I need you to be my eyes and ears. All right, I can do that. Keep Oswald out of R&D. Let me know if anything comes up. You're a good man, Bruce. Please, Selena, I, I have to tell you how I... Bruce? You should come stay with me. I'll think about it. Drop your pen. That's not. <sighs> I think it's time you knew my real name. I am Lady Arkham. <sighs> yeah, that caught me. I was not expecting that. <coughs> Although, um, thinking about it, it does make sense. Because she knew where... Uh, there was a lot of scenes in the, that we, uh, we ran into. She knew where the meeting place was. She was the one that gave us the address there. Uh, when she arrived with Catwoman, she said basically that, or uh, when she got there, she knew Batman was already there. You a lot of things do line up. Retribution, Bruce. What do you do when you have no innovations left? Nothing to hold back your morality. Oh God. What is this place? Get out. Breakfast. Okay, I'm up. I'm up. For Christ's sake, put some clothes on. Doctor's making the rounds soon. Doctor? What doctor? Is that my blood? God, I hope it's mine. Yeah, that, that would be pretty nasty. Looks like someone was angry. Lovely. Okay, security camera. Arkham Asylum. This can't be happening. <laughs> All right, I guess we got to put the clothes on. This 
can't be real. <sighs> Better be decent. You settled? Good. Anything you need? Water, piss, rat poison? I've been asked for rope before. Not really allowed to give it out. Of course, I could make an exception for you. You can tell me why I'm in Arkham Asylum for a start. What? Rich boy doesn't remember? Oswald Cobblepot? You beat him to a bloody pulp. Nearly killed him. Landed you here. Any of this ringing a bell? Might as well get comfortable. This is your home now. Time to meet your neighbors. As you were. You look just like him. Your father ever tell you about me? How he sent me here? Left me to rot in this goddamn hellhole? Somebody's gotta pay for that. I hope to God there is a hell. I want your daddy to see what I do to you. You really don't want to do this. You don't know a damn thing about me, Wayne. Ah, uh, shit. I told you, Doctor. These creeps were attacking the new guy. Well, who did that? Was it you? Of course not. It was mostly over by the time I got in. The, the new guy is tougher than he looks. Right, buddy? Right. Is that really what happened? Go on, tell her. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what happened. We have a very strict no-fighting policy here in Arkham. If you can't obey that rule, you're going to find yourself in hot water fast. The orderly that was here before took money from these men and let them into my room. He gave them a taser. I knew that you coming to Arkham could cause some excitement, but I didn't expect it to happen so fast. I'll do my best to keep you safe, but I need you to be careful. <sighs> Us nice guys gotta stick together, am I right? Come to me if anything happens. Thank you. I appreciate the effort. I'm glad you're so understanding after what just happened. Good thing help wasn't far away. Hey, I'm just looking out for the new guy. I'm Dr. Joan Leland, by the way, head of psychiatry. I'll be overseeing your case personally. Leland. Get you transferred to a new room, Bruce. One that doesn't have your blood all over it. For now, follow me. I'm sorry, I don't think I ever got your name. Me? <laughs> He's never given his name out to anybody. What? You just call him John Doe. Bingo. <laughs> <coughs> Gee, I wonder who John Doe is. <laughs> okay. John is one of our most improved patients. He's been with us for quite some time. I'm sure he'd be willing to show you around. Right, John? Oh, yeah. I'll show him the whole nine yards. <laughs> I think it would be best if you stayed by his side. There's not enough black tiles, you hear me? There's too many white tiles! 
You know, Doc, our last session was so enlightening. Well, that's good to hear. Your next evaluation is in a few weeks. I'm glad you're starting to understand yourself better. Oh, <laughs> every day, Doctor. Every day. See anything to interact with? Oh, I bet we're going to get grabbed. I can't taste anything. I want to taste. <laughs> you gotta be more careful, Bruce. Some of these guys bite. You know, this is interesting. First time you let me into the rec room, Dr. Leland? <laughs> How could I forget? You had to teach me how to play checkers. Yes, well, betting patients to swallow game pieces isn't really how that's supposed to be played. <laughs> you know, it's a, uh, so basically he's getting a first-hand look at what's going on in Arkham. All right. No, no, you, you, you need to let me go. Warn the president! You're trying to kill me! You don't know the president. Oh, they, they don't like it when you try to use the phone. That's because phones are for staff use only. No exceptions. <laughs> Stop that guy from trying. Such persistence. Wrong number to this! Stop! I'll come by to check on you two later. Don't worry about us, Dr. Leland. Okay. Wow, this story just took like a huge swerve. <coughs> Episode four. Welcome to Arkham Asylum. <laughs> Believe it or not, some of these people are crazy. <laughs> but everyone's friendly, mostly. Guardian of Gotham. I'd watch yourself around those two. Not a big fan of strangers. And just a little bit, you know, prone to outbursts of violence. Thanks for the heads up. I appreciate you showing me around like this. So sass. What can I say? I always try to keep an eye out for new guys. Let's see. On the couch, that's St. Louis. Ooh, sh sh his favorite show's on. Never misses it. All right, friendo. Commercial break. Get up! Where is the remote? Never fear, though. I'll go ask Leland. She likes me. Oh, I almost forgot. Here. What is this? Okay. So we got the ventriloquist. I'm pretty sure that's who that was. And Zaz here. You got a bad case of the mind knives. I can tell. I can tell. Just, just shove off, all right? No mind knives for me. I already got my shots. I solved the cookie riddle, not you. Sorry, sorry. It's, it's just, it, it's, just, it's his voice. It's driving me nuts. Oh, but you are ready. He cheats. Every time, he cheats. Sees what I'm thinking. Mind control. Cheater! I told you, if I could read minds, I certainly wouldn't waste my time on yours. Yep, I was right, Victor says. Bruce Wayne, you've got quite a reputation around here. 
taking your enemies out to stay on top. I like your style, kid. Um guy I walked in here with. What can you tell me about him? John Doe? A lot of folks are scared of him. Yeah? Why is that? Same reason folks are scared of tornadoes. They're chaotic. Unpredictable. I'm not speaking as a <clears throat> as a profession. I find his work a bit sloppy. But he's certainly enthusiastic, I'll give him that much. Hey there, buddy boy. You missed me? I missed you. However, the threat Damn it. remains. The children of Arkham are still out there, and I will not rest until these streets are safe and firmly under my control. Never anything good on, is there? Wait, that's the move you're going to make? Huh? Yeah. Can I talk to him more? No reason. What do you want? So what's the deal with that? Well, this one was a homeless guy trapped in a hopeless life. <laughs> this was a woman who just couldn't stop cheating on her husband. This guy wanted to kill himself, but didn't have the courage. All lost souls that I freed from their earthly woes. Okay, yeah, that's enough. Thanks. Lewis. What? That wasn't me. I I'm saying Lewis. Ask him about the key. What do you want? Any idea what this opens? How the hell should I know? Get that thing away from me. I don't want any trouble with the orderlies. All right. Oh, no, no, no. That's not polite at all. At all. Sorry, I can't talk right now. I gotta keep my eye on this guy. <laughs> Batman really did a number on this guy. Just let him be. Arnold Wesker, she is a ventriloquist. You. Hello. Hello. Go away, Arnold. Busy. I swear, if you bother him, I will gut you. What can you tell me about uh, John Doe? John? Uh, nothing. I, I don't know anything. John? Ah. I love that guy. Makes me laugh. Wanna know something weird? No one remembers the day John came to Arkham. Not even the doctors. They don't have any record of him ever being committed. You'd think a freak with green hair would be pretty goddamn memorable, right? But yeah. Nothing. Huh. Now what? Nice trick. Listen, pal. Arnold's had a tough time in here. And he doesn't need bullies like you making his recovery harder. So unless you have something important to say, get lost! 